All right, so we have bug labels across years. What about bug labels across sites? So let's plot labels by site. We'll do a similar thing. Take our plot beaches data and pipe it into a ggplot function. But first, see here, every time we have run a plot so far, it has given us this warning message. Now, <clears throat> sometimes these warning messages are just are bad um, because R isn't doing what you want it to. Other times they're just like a heads up. So for example, in um, when you read your data in, there is text that if that appears here in red that is just telling you that it has read your data in and assumed that these formats apply to your columns. Just a warning. It's saying, I might have got this wrong, you might want to check it. Um, in this case, it's just warning that apparently there are 29 rows that contain missing values. So ggplot is good in that it just ignores those. Um, not like when you when we were doing summarize and trying to calculate a mean, we needed to tell it that it was to remove the NAs, otherwise it wouldn't calculate the mean. ggplot ignores missing values, but to avoid getting this um, warning, what we can do is pipe our plot beaches into a na omit function before we go ahead and um, pipe it into a ggplot. Okay? So what na omit does is take out any the whole row of any row that has a na in it. So it's something to be used a little bit cautiously it's okay in this case because we're only caring about the beach values, but it's essentially taking out that entire row from the, the data frame rather than what the NA remove button um, function does is just take the missing value, ignore the missing value in calculating that function. All right, so we'll ignore, um, omit the NAs, and then make a ggplot, defining our aesthetics. This is what we want our plot to look like. And this time we're going to say we want site on the x-axis and beach bugs on the y-axis. And then it's tempting to pipe that ggplot existed before the pipe and apparently Happy Wickham says that it's too hard to update it. So you have to remember that when you are piping data into ggplot you can use the pipe but when you are adding features to your plot you use plus instead of pipe. Right. So let's try jitter for this case and see what we get. Whoops, what have we got? Error in argument object is missing. Hmm. That is weird. What did I pick it up? Can it be okay? Uh -huh. ah, okay, let's I don't know why that worked the second time and not the first, but it seems to be okay now. 
Um, uh, I don't know. Anyway, so it's this warning message relates to the plot that it ran above. So let's just run that one more time. Oh, yeah. And confirm that it is okay with the MA omit the way I typed it the second time. Anyway, okay, so here is our beach bugs by site. Now you'll notice that the um, x axis is impossible to read, right? So it's trying to put all of the names of all of the sites along the x-axis but there just isn't enough room so one way to get around this is to flip the coordinates so what you can do is just like you added GeoJitter as a layer to your plot you can add something that is called coordinate Unexpected end of a document. Hmm, let's see if this will run. Seems fine. Okay. Um, all right, so what that's done is put what was plotted up the y axis along the bottom of the graph, and what was on the x axis, it's plotting those categories um, on the um, up the y-axis. All right, so we can see that that value, the 4900, comes from Little Bay Beach. All right, so let's have a look. I want to show you how you can represent different variables using color. So here we have site um, but because there are all of the values from each site are plotted here most of them are on top of each other very close to zero um, there is year information in this plot that at the moment we can't see because all of the dots are black but what we can do is add a component to further define our aesthetics um, and say that we want our graph to look um, like it has the site on the x-axis and beach bugs on the y-axis and we want the color of the dots to be representative of the year that the, the that particular reading was taken. All right, let's try that. Ah, okay. Now, that doesn't look like what I thought it was going to look like. I think because it looks like from the scale, it thinks that year is a continuous variable. Let's check that. Right? So we'll go back to our summary um, function that we learned about way back in basics. Um, if we glimpse the plot beaches data um, and look at yeah, here we go. All right, so whoops, that's not what I want. Um, what this is telling us is that it thinks that year is an integer, that is a continuous number, um, and as a result of that, it is plotting year on this graduated scale from very, very dark blue to lighter blue. Um, really, year is a factor. There are discrete, I want 2013 values to be a different color to 2014 values to be a different color to 2015. All right, so this seems like a good opportunity to show you how you can change the format of the data, the kind of data that R thinks 
outcome a particular variable is by what they call coercing it into a different format. Right? So um, what we can do is simply say that we want the data frame features and you use the dollar sign symbol to represent a particular column within that data frame. So we want to take the year column and we want to coerce it to being a factor by saying we want to use the as factor then we put that column within that data frame. Um, so we're saying apply the as factor function to the year column in the plot beaches and then assign it to that column in that data frame. So you're essentially overwriting the format um, that is currently an integer as a factor. All right, so we run that. And then what we can do, if we, um, Yes, in some order. Right, so take notes for ourselves of what we're doing. So coerce year to be factor rather than integer. Links to links to check it did the right thing. Let's run that again. So now you can see it is representing um, year as a factor instead of an integer. All right, and then if we run this plot again, aha, it now represents each year as a different color instead of a graduated scale from dark blue to light blue.